Right, we want us to continue with the third uh, subtopic under algebra. This is the subtopic that I want us to look at. This is the topic which deals with greater than or less than. Remember what is happening here. This step here becomes key. This becomes key. This is what is going to give us solutions. Are the critical values part of our solution? No, they are not part of our solution. How many solutions do you see? Two, then you present two solutions. If it was only here, we're going to present one solution. We'll look for problems like that. Let's write the solution. You write what you see. You write what you see. I'm saying my solution, my x in this particular case, are all the values that are less than minus one. This represents this part. Oh, our solution are all the values that are bigger, bigger than three. This is how you go about writing this section called the inequalities. Let me give you a skill. You see where this is pointing? Ah, it is pointing outside. It is telling you where exactly you find the solution. Since it's pointing outside, it says the solution is outside. You don't have to check it. You are trying to save time. So the part that is inside will not be part of the solution without even checking it. Just by looking at the sign, it points outside. So you write the solution. You say x is are all the values that are, are less than minus 1 or x are all the values that are greater than 3. This will save time during the examinations. Now let's write our solutions. Our x in this particular case, our x are all the values that are less part of the solution or equals to 1 over 4 or x is greater or equals to uh, in this particular case, one. This is how you go about writing these inequalities. For argument's sake, let's quickly look at this one. How do I represent this one? The question is, how do I represent it? How do I write that solution? How many parts are part of the solution in this particular case? It is one. But in this particular case, how many parts? There are two. This part and that part. Hence, I represented it in two solutions. Look at this one. There is only one part that is part of the solution. Therefore, you only represent it once. Let's write it down. How do I write this solution? We are saying our solution is greater or equals to, it is greater or equals to minus one or less, less, our solution is less or equals to, four, less or equals to four. That's how I represent it when it is found in the middle region. This part is called the inequalities. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.